What is going on YouTube, is Flawfish here, and welcome back to Trading Block episode number 23. And uh, we had some players sell here, have some players gonna sell, and have tons of offers on here. I just got back, I haven't really gone through this. I think we had, um, Krejci sold, um, who else sold? Shaw sold, Le Cavalier sold, I think one other person sold maybe. Uh, Meyer sold. Those are the four players that sold. So we're now up to 65k, which is nice. Going to be up to 70k with that. And depending on what the trades are like, who knows. So hopped on a little bit early just to kind of discuss uh, you know, some of these trades and go through them again. So we have Tavares and Callahan. Let's go through and let's view that one. So Bufflin, pff, safe to say he'll probably fetch me 15 in at least a week's time or so. Um, ooh, bike fell. Hang on, let, let me address that. There we go. Um, yeah, so safe to say he'll be, um, probably 15k. Uh, so we'll go, we'll go the Islanders, uh, here. So I guess we should probably crank up the, crank up the minimum price up to about 900 packs. And you can see, all right, so 10k on Tavares, no problem. Uh, a little bit high there. That's interesting. Uh, good thing the first one had bids on it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have wouldn't have gone after that one. I'd buy that one right now, but I just, I don't know. A little bit lazy. Uh, I'll probably end up throwing him, though. So that's not bad, and then we have Callahan, who's going to be right wing on the Rangers. Uh, let's see here. So we got all these Gabaricks. Uh, so 4K, no bids. Uh, 3K, yeah, it's going to be around 3K on him, I think. Um, I think I'll search up every position for him just in case. See more Gabaricks. Um, centers. And no Callahan's there. No Callahan's there. So yeah, that's around 13k, I want to say. Um, lefty. Lefty, and then I guess we gotta go all the way to Winnipeg. Actually, he's right D, isn't he? Yeah, Bufflin's right D. Um, let's see here. So we got... Bogo, we got Buff at 9.5 already, 12 to 18, 15, 12 to 20, 15 to 18, 14. Yeah, I think 15K is a pretty good price, 14K, somewhere's in there. So Tavares, 10K, Callahan, 3K. Mm. Mm. Excuse me, probably around 13 there, which isn't horrible, I guess. Um... Tavares I might be able to get a little bit more out of. Might be able to get 12k out of Tavares, which 3k out of Callahan would be 15k. It's right where I'm looking for, more or less. I'll just kind of let it sit and see if he gets a bid on him. Um, Andrew Ladd has two. It's Huberto on 14k. Need a little bit more on him. Myers in 1k. That's around 16k. I'm uh, going to reject that one. I'm going to reject both of them because I do think I need a little bit more on on a laddie here. Um, I know I'll, I'll probably end up keeping him if not, because he is a pretty good player for me. So uh, then we have four on Letty. Probably a lot of troll offers. Uh, getting the side on Bufflin here if he doesn't get a bid. So we'll just go through Letty here. Uh, Oduya and 2K, not bad. Uh, probably low offers. And then Keith and Backstrom in 3K. So gonna have to look that one up. Uh, the Bufflin trade. He hasn't been bought yet. If he hasn't been bought now, we're gonna we're gonna switch things up here and we're gonna take a couple players in here. So two eighty sixes. It's not bad. Um, could be worse, I guess. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that trade. Um, send to trade pile. Send to trade pile. They need like a send all to trade pile kind of thing too. Uh, Callahan's gonna sell lad. Again, Myers and Johnson, not really a huge fan of that one. Um, I'm, I'm going to want around 20k on him, so Callahan's going to get bidded on. Uh, Letty, we have Oduya, Odontia, and then Keith and Backstrom. Uh, we'll see what Oduya has. I'm not a huge fan of the Keith and Backstrom trade here. 
There's a lot of offers on those Edinburgh Coley Castle. So Gervais, yeah, no. And so nothing really on him. Um, so I think it's not a bad trade. I just think I'm probably better off with Letty. So there's not a lot of Lettys out there. Uh, Horton and Martin. Now nah, I'm going to pass that one up. I just I don't think I would have been able to accept it in time anyways. Um, so let's see. We have we have the choice between Aduya and 2K. I'm going to hold on to Letty there. And then Keith, 3K and Backstrom. Backstrom's 3K, 6K. Keith, probably around... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to Letty. Um, didn't have enough time to look up Keith there. And all right, now we're gonna have to go through Zetterberg here, who has tons of troll offers. I'm guessing, reject, 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 reject. Hey, a legit offer. So we got Bergeron, uh, Niemi, Marchand, and Gagne. Uh, and 6k so these two put them at 10k each is 20 um, 30 Marchand goes for probably 8 so 8 and eight, 18 Marsh Niemi is probably 5 so there's probably about 8 18 29 in here and then Bergeron's got to be 30k I know he's boosted and all uh, I don't think I really can lose too much with this trade so um, I'm going to take this one. The other one was Kessel, and, um, it would have been, the other one was Kessel, Kessler and Kessel. Uh, that's why I was getting a little bit confused. Uh, we'll just send them all to my collection, and I'll sort them out afterwards. I know Bergeron was boosted, but still, I'll end up probably getting a little bit more for him. So Callahan actually went for 11.45. Considering he didn't sell for the last three episodes of that, uh, fairly good deal there, in my opinion. Um... Now we have Higgins and Vlasic. Uh, not really interested in that one. I just, I'd just i rather just take like 3k or whatever on him. Um, Marlo has one trade. Gagne and Ben and 1.5k. Gagne again, 10k. Ben, probably 8k. I'll have to look up their values again. Um, let's see here. Search for items. These, they're both going to be left wings, I believe. Uh, so first one's with Dallas, and we'll crank up that min price. There we go. It's Jamie Ben, 8K, yeah, 8K is a pretty safe bet with him. And then LA, I think that's a little bit low. I know I can get fairly decent prices out of, yeah, I can get fairly decent. I think that's a little bit low for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reject that one just because... I think I can get a better price just selling Marlowe straight up on the market here. So, uh, Martin and Di Pietro. I don't know what Martin goes for, but I don't think it's going to be the same. Um, let's go ahead and let's look up. Let's look up Marlowe here. Actually, I need to look up Volkun too. I believe. Um, or Martin. I'm going to be too late for that one. Uh, any, it's lefty. It's probably going to be. Yeah, I was too late for that one. Um, Pittsburgh, lefty, yeah, he's not on there, he's probably righty then. No, he's not even up there, alright. Well, alright, we're gonna go with goalie and then player items, because I think they only have like two. Alright, well they have Ben Johnson too, so Volkun, yeah, I'll probably take the Volkun trade on Bishop. Uh, as much as Bishops don't come around very often, um, I think it's a fairly good trade in my opinion here, so we got two minutes on it. So we got time on it, so I guess we can kind of go through here. Um, five on Kane. 73k pucks, not bad. Rangers jersey, not bad. 80k is better than 73k, so I'll reject the 73k. And then reject these guys. All right, Bishop. Uh, Volkun, two jerseys. Get the North Stars jersey, and that's a sick looking jersey. Only you could see the front of them when you're playing. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. I think I can get what I got out of Bishop for Volkun. So Bishop is gone, unfortunately. Um, bit of a change up in my in my roster though. So um, we'll just send both of the jerseys to the collection here. I do like the Wild or the North Stars jersey. They they look pretty cool to me, if you ask me. Um, 
halves we got 4k and those guys I'm gonna hold on to Pavelski at 17k um, got another one in on him it's Kess Sagan 1k and Grabner Sagan 10k Grabner at 3k 13k Sagan's probably like 12k so 15 16k I'm still gonna hold on to the Pavelski um, Latang, Gagne, Ryan, Keith, and Sharp. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, probably 10, 20, 30, 40. A little bit over. We'll delay it. I'll see. And then I guess we got to reject. Well, wow, that's actually not a bad trade. So 10, 20, 10, 30, 40, 60. Down's a little bit lower than 80k. The assistant captain and the 20 game contract seems to be the best offer so far on the cane. I'll probably end up taking that even though I do want around 90k on him. 80k can get me the player I really want for him instead, which is the team of the year Kunitz. This is a team of the week one. You can't you can't fool me. Reject. The 80k can easily get me the team of the year one, so um that's where someone had an opportunity. Krejci, 5K, Ben, and Del Zotto. Just going to let it go. Um, I was too late to it anyway. So uh, now we're on to Latang here. This trade's going to probably be... I know I can get 12K for Sharp. 12K for Sharp's no problem. Uh, Keith can go for 15 to 20K, which is 27. Ryan can probably fetch around 8K. Gagne can fetch around 10K. These three can probably fetch 10k. I have to be patient. So 10, 20, 20, 35, 80, 47. I want to say 10, 20, 30, 40. Even at 10 each, it's not bad. Just going through and selling them all or the tang. The tang looks better in a trade anyway. So um, we got Bobrovsky, Brown, and Myers. Um, I'm going to take this one. I think the Borowski, Brown, and Myers one might have actually been a little bit better. But I think this one overall, as far as I know what I'm getting out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just going to send them all to my collection here. Probably easier. As long as Gagne. Oh, got a trade pile Gagne. So I mean, it's not bad. Um, again, Latang's gone. Up to 90k. Got to get in here and got to take delay. Accept. 80k in the assistant captain card, which I actually needed because I was a fool and used mine and then put a player on the trading block that had it. So um, the 80k is nice there. Um, actually, I don't know why I just didn't send that to my collection there. So Patrick Kane is gone, unfortunately. Um, all said and done, up to 166k. Bit of a more diverse trade pal, I guess. Got a few more players in. Lost some players, picked up some players, you know, same old, same old. Um, might upload another one here quickly uh, just to see what I can do. But this was actually, I enjoyed this one actually a lot more because there's a lot of like little small trades I had to do as opposed to like huge ones that are just like instant yes or no's. And I think you guys might enjoy these ones a little bit better too because there's a lot of the stuff in the price range for people. And generally speaking, the higher end cards, most of my offers come in from people on the game rather than subscribers and yeah so anyways guys as always hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like um and stay tuned for the next episode anyways guys as always take it easy and peace